Hello and thank you for watching. In this video, I'm going to unbox and review Barbie Extra the Deluxe Set. Woo, deluxe. You know what deluxe means. Deluxe means more stuff. It also means more. Now, I'm very excited about this doll because I have been hunting in the stores. She was never on my shelves. I never saw her. And then I saw her turn up on Amazon but then they wanted to charge me $41. Now, she's cute, but I'm not paying $41 for a Barbie extra, even if it's deluxe. But then she popped up on Amazon.com at a great price, sold. So here she is. Let's take a closer look. I'm super excited. So here is the box for Barbie Extra Deluxe. Now it's advertised as saying, spin the wheel of fashion to create more than 30 different looks. So I was like, well, spin the wheel of fashion. Obviously it's this little fashion wheel thing here. And I was like, okay, so it doesn't really do anything, but guess what? Look over here. The wheel spins. It's got the little, it's, as you can see here. I don't know why I didn't notice this. I was so busy, I think, distracted by the doll. Look, it's got the little thing. It says, you can spin the wheel. Yes, yeah, spin the wheel, Raggedy Man. And you can spin, and it will select all the different little pieces that it has on here. Look how fun that is, I'm sure, for both kids and adults or people like us who are what kids at heart yes uh, absolutely this is so fun i am going to want to remove her from this box without damaging this fashion wheel thing so i'm not gonna i'm gonna do it a little bit differently today with opening this box i'm actually going to do it a little bit more securely off camera so i can actually take my time i'm sure you don't want to sit through 20 minutes of me debating and praying and all of that kind of stuff to try to get that out so i just wanted to let you know that ahead of time but we're going to see everything we're doing combos i'm going to show you all sorts of stuff with this doll that being said, are, are you being hypnotized by all the fashions back there? Have you been watching? <laughs> I've been actually kind of eyeing them as I've been talking. And I'm like, ooh, I want to see what that looks like. So anyway, I'm going to pull back so that we can see the rest of the box. Whoever is doing the packaging lately at Mattel, kudos to you because I've really liked some of the packaging pieces that I've been, not all, not trying to shade, but I not all has been great, but some of them really have been starting to stand out. And this is certainly one of those. So I'm going to turn this around so that you can see what it looks like in the back. And I'm going to go a little bit closer and you can see with the 30 plus looks, what some of them are. So you see her with this, looks like some sort of little cape. Maybe that skirt turned into a cape there. And she's got the little shades on. And then she's got this little cute kitten top and a leather skirt. And then there's this little heart shaped dress with the necklace. Oh, she does have the necklace in all of these, huh? And then there's another look with, it looks like a blouse with some sort of chain printed on there and then oh look at that that looks really lovely i can't wait to see oh look at those i didn't notice those pink little pants or tights that are underneath the skirt there very cute then of course it has the usual don't choke on the pieces kind of detail so what i am going to do is i am going to remove this doll from the box as carefully as i can and then we're gonna go look at her very close up and we're also gonna look at all of the pieces and do some combo matches. So here is the Wheel of Fashion. And as you can see, it was a lot more fun when it was in the actual like packaging box thing, but actually once you remove the doll and the outer layer, it's not as fun. So if you're a hoarder like me, don't do it, stop, just throw it away or don't try to rescue it, unless you have some other kind of ideas of what you can do with it. As you can see, it's got this little thing here that holds the doll in place, and you can remove that, 
and then you remove this outer layer part and then you have the wheel of fashion but then it's not as exciting without the little thing that say pull shit that way or pull it that way so it's not as fun but it actually i don't know if you're really creative maybe you can come up with something you can put the little thing back here to hold the doll in place it does come back on but the wheel of fashion is not as fun so i say buy two of these dolls if you like it that way you could have one to keep in the box so you can have fun with your wheel of fashion and then another one so that you can actually dress your doll so here is a close-up of barbie extra deluxe doll the face sculpt is the skipper dream house sculpt and as you can see she's got the little hair bow up there and if you want to see a close-up of it there it is and i'll just show you a side profile you can see the earrings there and of course the necklace and this is her hair from and her face from the other side now i'm gonna pull back as you can see her hair is kind of wiry and it's a little bit lighter than some of the hair that i've felt on other dolls but it still feels like it and looks like it's maybe fully rooted it looks like it is but the hair is a little bit of a maybe a different texture but it feels almost the same it's really strange but in not in a bad way so you let me know if you guys have this doll, what you thought of how it feels. But it's really very pretty. And as you can see, she's got, oh, look, she's got her little pet kitty hair. But look what they did this time with the crown. As you noticed, as they did with the jewelry on this deluxe doll, they gave it that metallic shine. And yes, I don't need real metal. I just need it to shine like it's real metal. And as you can see, she the, got the little bow and the skirt and all of that. And as you can also, oops, she lost a shoe. She's got an articulated body. Oh, look, and this is a whole one piece thing under here. So what I think I'm going to do, I'd actually like to take a look at some of the item pieces that she came with. And so these are the accessories and clothing pieces that the doll comes with. I'm going to take a closer look at what she's actually wearing in a moment, but first I wanted to review everything that was on the Wheel of Fashion. Uh, didn't, well, anyway, <laughs> I it's really weird putting these on here because it's actually really a mixed bag here, and I will show you. I think some of these pieces are fabulous, and some of them are actually really cheap looking, but it's a mixed bag. You tell me what you think in the comments. First, we're going to start with this pair of glasses, the kitty cat glasses. How cute is that? Now, I will have to let you know, my glasses, the uh, arms on it were actually bent. and I had to straighten them out very carefully because it's delicate. So make sure that when you are removing yours from the package, be very, very careful. Of course, she also comes with this little pair of cat ears. Uh, she also comes with this pair of shoes, which I'm not really crazy about. They're really cheap and plastically looking, very play line. They're not very deluxe, in my opinion. She also comes with this little plastic hair bow thing. Again, a little play line, but you know, with the bow, I can actually kind of maybe live with it. I don't know if I'd actually photograph my dolls in it, but I don't know. She also comes with this little fake mirror, which is, of course, very play line as well. And that's the other side of it. I don't mind that one as much. She also comes with this pair of, I don't know what you would call these, these shiny pants. And although they are very cheap looking, they actually do look like they are fun. She also comes with going, of course, with the cat motif here. Two blouses, one that has, of course, all the little happy kitty cats on it. It looks like it's, they're both sleeveless. One has like, I guess a little cap, almost a cap sleeve. And the other is completely, is more like a tank top. And it's got the uh, graphics of like necklaces and chains and stuff going. And they both open and close with Velcro in the back. You also get this, re I'm really loving this piece here, this leather or 
pleather skirt. It is so cool. Look at the, the way it's bent and twisted and everything there. And of course, it's got a Velcro back, which I don't care about. I really love this leather skirt, very cool. Next, she has this little ruffle thing, which is really weird. I was trying to figure out what the heck it was for, and I saw that they put it underneath the black skirt, so it's some sort of modesty uh, ruffle or some sort of ruffle that you can work with. I guess if you want your girl to be modest, then she could wear the ruffle under that skirt, but my girls are not modest, so I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. She also comes with this lavender or kind of purplish tool skirt as you can see it has the opening right in the center so you can just put your doll's legs right through the hole in order to put the skirt on of course back the other way in order to remove it and those are all the pieces that she comes with that she's not wearing so first i'd like to do a 360 of barbie extra the deluxe doll in her outfit that she comes with. And then I'm gonna show you a bunch of possibilities of the outfit pieces. So here's a 360 of Barbie Extra Deluxe Doll. Now I have her with a display stand so that I could show her to you, but this doll does not come with a display stand. So I just want to let you know that. Let's go in close so that we can see her and that hair bow, very cute. Now I did get mine through walmart.com so I was not able to personally pick her out. That's one of the bad things about ordering your doll online. You can't get exactly what you want. I was hoping to get a bigger bow, but I think this bow is actually very cute and works. So I'm gonna go a little bit lower. I also wanted to let you know about this dress. This dress is supposedly reversible. So I'll show you some of that. And here are her shoes. Now, I'm really torn about the shoes because I love, love, love the design. The plastic is really cheap looking. Actually, to be honest with you, it looks a little bit better on camera than it does in real life, which is great for photographs. But yeah, it's cheap plastic, but you know, hey, it's Barbie, right? Well, oh, was that a read? Oh, I don't know. I didn't mean that for shade, but you know what I mean. I'm being real, keeping it real. Isn't that what people say? Usually that means they're being rude, but I'm not really trying to be rude, honestly. So, and of course that look, that little pet. Oh, and this little skirt thing can also be used as like a little cape. She has a little purse there. And I just, well, I'm going to need to close her hair hole there. That, that doesn't sound right either. But look at her cute little pet. Oh, isn't that kitty kitty? It's just so cute. And of course, I really absolutely love that necklace. Yes, it's cheap plastic, but it's got some bling bling shine to it. And that, to me, makes it a little bit more authentic looking. So I absolutely love it. So I would like to show you several looks for her. I'm not gonna do 360s on all the looks, but I did wanna show you several look options that you can give this deluxe doll. to welcome icon and legend RuPaul. Next, I'd like to welcome fashion trendsetter and princess of Mattel, Millie Barbie. And last but never least, actress, model, singer, superstar, Alyssa Rodriguez. So before I speak to our panel, there were a couple of things I did want to showcase to you that I felt like I didn't really show you as much. So let me do that real quick. 
two things that I really didn't show you as much were these pair, the pair of shades, number one, and those heart-shaped earrings. Look at those. I am so obsessed with them. All right, we gotta wait for her to come around, so we'll do a quick little, um, well, that's the back of her shoes. Not much to see here, but let's wait for she comes over here. Look at the earrings and those glasses. Absolutely awesome. All right, Mama Ru, I'm going to start with you. There are so many looks and so many outfit pieces to pick from. What did you have to say about Barbie Extra Deluxe? And you have a note. And you say... Opulence! She owns everything! Opulence, you own everything. She certainly looks like she owns everything to me. Barbie, what are your thoughts on Barbie Extra Deluxe? You say that once again, Barbie and Mattel are giving the people what they want. They want high fashion. They want fun. They want articulated bodies. They want colorful fantasy hair. Wow, Barbie, you packed a lot. I'm so glad you didn't put that on a note. Thank you. <laughs> so, Alyssa, what do you have to say about Barbie Extra Deluxe Doll? And you have a note for me. Hmm. And you said... Her hair and shades are cute, but I'm not wearing that cheap <laughs> Okay, Alyssa, you're being kind or rude. Well, thank you, panel, for your um, whatever you did for me. <laughs> so I could not wait to get my hands on Barbie Extra Deluxe. She was hard to find for me, maybe not for you, but for me, she was. And I'm so happy that I got my hands on her. I would have preferred to have gotten her in the store as opposed to I got her on walmart.com. I'm not getting paid for that or anything like that. So I want would have wanted a, maybe a larger bow, but the bow actually in this size works. And I think it's really pretty. Her hair's a little bit fly away. I'm going to try to maybe do figure something out to maybe fix the hair so it's not so fly away but I have to be very careful because she's got that bow there so I'll think of something maybe you guys can have some tips in the comments down there on how to maybe just kind of smooth her hair a little bit without messing it up that would be great I would appreciate that that being said I had so much more fun with this doll than I thought I would when I was doing all of the restyling some of them I actually really liked some of them I didn't think I would like ended up liking some I thought would be more more fabulous than uh or I thought they would be more fabulous than they were but it was a lot of fun playing with this doll I was so shocked that I had so much fun maybe you could tell but anyway, um, this is a great doll to add into your collection. If I were going to do a Barbie Extra Deluxe, I think this is exactly the doll that I would have done. I, I would have maybe liked the Millie sculpt, but if I'm not going with the Millie sculpt, this is the next best sculpt, in my opinion, to do, especially with it being the... Uh, Dreamhouse Skipper, which would be kind of like the next generation. So I absolutely love it. They did a wonderful job. So my suggestion would be get her. Also, if you want that fun wheel of fashion, then I think you're going to need two of them because that wheel of fashion was so much fun. Once you took it out of the box, wheel of fashion wasn't so much fun. So you might need two. So if you like this video, and I hope that you did, then please make sure that you click the like button. That's how I know that you like my videos. How am I going to know? So also make sure that you subscribed if you have not yet subscribed, because when you do, you get notified of when I come up with great, fabulous videos like this one. So make sure that you subscribe. Thanks again for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Uplands, you own everything. I